Hi YouTube, it's KTC31 and I'm here with another video. Now in this video I'm doing a collective haul of some of the things that I picked up over the past couple of weeks. So I'll start off with the drugstore stuff that I picked up and this I picked up, it's the Make Clean and Clear Makeup Cleansing Wipes. 25 comes in a pack and I wanted to try these makeup wipes, uh, wipes out. I've heard a lot about them on YouTube. A lot of people like them so I decided to give them a go also shoppers drug mart had these last thing these rimmel lasting finish pro nail polishes on sale for 2 dollars the other day so i picked up two of them this first one is in burgundy flirt and it's a nice burgundy color the second one i picked up is in red stiletto and it's a bright red nail polish which i'm probably going to put on my nails today um but yeah those are 2 dollars so i grabbed those also my skin is really, really dry. So I wanted to try this uh, Vichy um, Laboratory um, Moisturizer for dry skin. Now, if you've watched my um, empties video, you know I use this uh, cleansing line, the Vichy Cleanser and the Exfoliator. So I decided to try the Moisturizer. And this one is a 48 hour hydration for sensitive skin, long lasting comfort for dry skin. It comes in a bottle like this. And I really like it so far. I've used it about three times day and night as my moisturizer and I really like it. So I'll let you, I'll keep you guys posted on how I feel about this after I've used it a little bit longer. And this was, I think, $37 at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, hair care wise, on Black Friday, I picked up another one of these Moroccan oil um, treatments. And this is for all hair types. And I really love this oil. It absorbs into your hair. It doesn't make your hair heavy. The In the box, it comes with the bottle that looks like this. And then you also get a pump with it, which I really like. And this smells so good. I've tried other brands of Moroccan oil, but this is the one I really, really like. This is expensive. Um, one of the salons at our local mall had 20% off all Moroccan oil products. And um, so this was, I think, I want to say originally $37. It is expensive, but totally worth every penny. And on a side note, this brand, the leave-in conditioner, is the only leave-in conditioner that works for both my hair that's relaxed and both of my children's hair that are natural. Um, my, my youngest daughter's hair is about a 3C, I think, and then my oldest daughter's hair is a 4C. And the leave-in conditioner to this amazing holy grail product will not use anything else but and it has to be this brand this with this blue and orange one trust me try it if you're looking for a new leave-in conditioner and then this oil totally recommend it it's non-greasy it doesn't make your hair heavy and it absorbs in the hair shaft love this product um what's next so then i went to bath and body works before black friday um, they had the hand soap, 7 for $25. So I got seven of the winter scents. The first one I got was lemon meringue. It looks like that. And it's a nice lemony scent. This one is vanilla bean Noel. And it's, of course, smells like vanilla. This one is sparkling pink champagne. Um, I don't remember what this one smells like. Hmm. I don't know it's, it's a fresh scent I like that I like the scent of it this one is a berry scent it's called frosted plum berry looks like that then I got the um, fresh sparkling snow which looks like that and I also got the winter cranberry this one I really like a lot and my favorite ones my favorite scent for this season is the winter candy apple um, love this scent and I like the the exfoliating soaps over the foam I don't know you guys do you guys prefer this one or the foam one just let me know in the comment box my personal preference is the um, 
is the exfoliating antibacterial soap. And then on Black Friday, they had three candles for, three of the three wick candles for um, $33, I think it was. And then they had a special on the red velvet candles. These are $8. So I picked up one of these. It smells like red velvet cake, very sweet and just, you know, some warm. You just want to curl up um, with a book smells great I love that scent and then I also picked up the black tie now this one smells like a really nice smelling man like you know you you going out on a date with someone and they pick you up in their car and you get in their car and their car has their cologne smelling up the car and you're like oh it just smells nice it's just oh I just love that scent let me know what you guys think. If you guys have ever smelt this black tie candle, let me know if you feel the same way. It's it's so grown. Like, it's a grown, nice smelling man scent. Love it. And then this one is the party dress scent. It's this one. Oh, love it. it it's, it's, it's a grown woman scent. Okay, that one, the black tie is a grown man scent. This is the grown woman scent. Love this scent. And then I picked up the champagne toast. So this is very sweet. It's a sweet scent. So yeah, love that one. And also I went to Sally's and I wanted a new sil uh, edge controller. So on YouTube, I don't remember whose channel I was watching and they recommended the Silk Element straight edge controller. Now this works really well. This works better than the, um, I think I have it here. The olive oil edge controller, this doesn't do anything. You put this on your hair and then two minutes later, it's curling up again. It ain't controlling no edges. I don't like this at all. So I said I'll give this a try. And I actually like it. It does a way better job than the olive oil one in my opinion. So yeah. Now, you would think I used a lot of this. My six year old got into this. All I saw was little fingerprints stuck into it. I was so bad, I was like, what did you do? I said, don't touch my stuff. Do they ever get into your stuff? My six year old gets into everything. She got into my edge controller. I don't know what edges she was trying to slick down or she was just playing in it, but she got into it. But yeah, I do like this product a lot. Troublemaker, she's definitely a troublemaker. And I also decided to get a new curling iron. I got this one, this is the package it came in. It's the Helen of Troy Gold Series. And I got a one inch gold plated iron and temperature reaches up to 430 and it looks like this. So it has the switch on this side and then it has the dial here. So I've used it a couple of times and I really like it. Um, and I, I was in the market for a new one. The other one I had before was a smaller barrel and I wanted it a little bit bigger to make bigger curls. So picked that up and I think that was around $48 at Sally's I think yeah it was around $48 and I think that's it that's it for my little collective haul um, so leave any questions comments in the comment box down below um, and I think that's it for now I'll see you next time YouTube